Good luck finding an RTX 3060 at MSRP and a new DirectX 12 update could make new GPUs up to six times faster depending on the scene. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap, a better alternative to eBay that I really think you should take a look at. RGB Swap is a marketplace exclusively for selling and buying computer parts that offers much lower fees than competitors such as eBay as well as greater protection against scams. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're guaranteed to be protected since all orders have to be paid for first and the funds are held for 48 hours after the buyer receives the item or they leave feedback, ensuring that you never get sold a bad item. Additionally, all disputes are manually reviewed and PayPal is used exclusively for an extra layer of security. I gotta tell you guys, I like this website a lot and I really want it to take off as a better alternative to eBay, so please, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts online, click the link in the description below and give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. So the RTX 3060 should be releasing on February 25th and coming in at an MSRP of $330 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM and I believe 3,584 shaders. That's actually a pretty good deal and should give you some pretty solid performance numbers and you know that 12 gigabytes of VRAM should allow the card to last a very very long time so of course a lot of gamers are very interested in this card especially considering that it's extremely difficult to get GPUs right now but you know since it is extremely difficult to get any graphics cards it looks like some retailers at least over in Europe could be actually jacking up the prices pretty significantly which you know honestly is not that surprising to me because if they're not getting very much stock and there's an extremely high demand well well, you can guess that there's probably going to be an increase in price and getting your hands on an RTX 3060 for $330 is going to be incredibly difficult. But you know, I think we all knew that, but what we didn't expect, or at least what I didn't expect, was just how expensive the RTX 3060 could get. So according to videocards.com, which by the way, there will be links in the description below, uh, supposedly some retailers are listing these RTX 3060s for insane prices. And in fact, one retailer over in Europe listed an RTX 3060 as high as 6 699 euros, which if you convert that to US dollars comes to roughly $850, which is absolutely insane. And you know, I figured that the 3060 would be pretty difficult to get at $330 and be probably more likely to get somewhere around $380 to $400. But seeing some online retailers supposedly listing them for closer to $850 is just absolutely ridiculous. And if you see one of these cards for $850, even if you can buy it right now and you're really tempted, I would highly, highly suggest that you do not buy this card for $850. I mean, that's more money than even the RTX 3080 is supposed to be retailing for. So yeah, I definitely would not be buying it for that. And for those of you retailers out there trying to make a quick buck off of this, if you are really going forward with this and it's true what video cards posted, well then shame on you because that's just, that's ridiculous. I get, you know, putting a better cooler on it and justifying a little bit higher price, but yeah, $850, that's just not acceptable. And if you want a 3060 really bad, my advice would be to get in some sort of queue like the EVG AQ and that just hope that at some point you actually are able to get one of their higher tier models for unfortunately it's probably going to be above MSRP but if you can get one you know maybe below $400 and you can get it within two weeks to maybe two months after sitting in a queue that's probably going to be your best shot for getting one of these cards at least somewhat close to the original MSRP. But enough talking about the incredibly high prices of video cards let's talk about some really good news and that's the fact that 3 d Mark just had an update that allows you to test the new mesh shader feature that comes with DirectX 12. Ultimate, and this feature could allow for an enormous performance uplift on GPUs that are compatible. Now, of course, it requires a DirectX 12 Ultimate compliant GPU, such as, say, the RTX 30 series or RX 6000 series. Now, of course, if you don't know what mesh shaders are, VideoCards.com posted an article which included a 3D Mark statement kind of detailing what this actually is and how it could increase your performance. So, this is what 3D Mark had to say on the matter. Quote, Today we're releasing the 3D Mark mesh shader feature test, a new test that shows how game engines can improve performance by using mesh shaders in the graphics pipeline. What is a mesh shader? In 3D graphics, a mesh is a set of vertices, edges, and faces that define the shape of an object. In current graphics pipelines, all of the geometry data in a mesh must be processed sequentially before any further steps can be taken. This can be a significant performance bottleneck. Mesh shaders replace the old model with a new approach to geometry processing that simplifies the graphics pipeline while also giving developers more flexibility and control. So that sounds really interesting and promising and the way that this new test works is that you run one pass without using the new mesh shaders and then you run a, another pass and you do use the mesh shaders and then you see you know, what kind of performance increase you get and videocards.com looked at this and according to them the average performance that they saw was that with Nvidia Ampere a 702% increase would 
which of course is about six times faster with using mesh shaders, which is really, really impressive. Um, with AMD RDNA 2, they got a 547% increase, though I do believe they had a new driver since then, which does see an even further increase in performance, which is really, really good to see. And then with NVIDIA Turing RTX, a 409% increase, and then NVIDIA Turing without RTX, a 244% increase. So yeah, obviously getting a 702% increase in performance just by using this new feature is really, really impressive. But you know, as impressive as this is, you know, don't get your hopes up too high. I don't expect uh, new games to suddenly be getting, you know, six times better performance. That's probably not going to be the case. However, games that could benefit from this, you know, you might actually see something like, who knows, maybe a 30% uplift in performance just by using this new feature, which is, of course, always really, really good to see. So new features like this plus DLSS, it just allows us to get better and better graphics, better performance. And it's just really exciting to see how a little feature like this can give you such a large performance boost. And it's something that, you know, can be done with just software. And that's just absolutely mind blowing. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that you're going to be able to get an RTX 3060 anywhere near MSRP? Or do you think that it's going to be just absolutely impossible? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.